Today we are going to talk about the top 5 most useful JavaScript tips and tricks that I found very useful while doing JavaScript coding. So let's get started. Number 1. Get unique values from array. Let's say we have an array like this that has some duplicate values and we want to get only the unique values from this array. We can easily do this by first adding opening and closing square brackets. Then inside it type ES6 spread syntax, which is three dots like this. Then write new set and pass the my array variable to the set object like this. Now let's store this returned value in a variable and when we log it, we can see we got unique values from my array. We can try to add more duplicate value into the my array and you can see that the unique array variable is still showing unique values. In case you are wondering what are those green squares and how am I seeing the runtime values as output in my editor itself next to my code. For that, I am using an extension called quaker.js, which runs our JavaScript code and displays results inline in VS Code, thus helping us in fast prototyping. Number 2. Remove falsy values from array. A falsy value is a value that is considered false when encountered in a Boolean context. So all of these conditions evaluate to false and thus never goes inside the if block. Now let's say we have an array like this which contains some falsy values. And we want to remove all these falsy values from the array. We can easily do this by calling an array filter method on my array. And inside this filter method, we need to simply pass a boolean object like this. And when we log the filter array variable, we can see all the falsy values have now been removed from the array. Number 3. Sort number array. This one is my personal favorite. Let's say we have an array containing only numbers and we want to sort it in ascending order from smallest to largest. Now if we write the my array variable, then call the array in build sort method on it. And then log the my array variable. You can see that the array is still not sorted in ascending order. For this to work, we just need to use an arrow function here. And pass two parameters to it like this. And then just write a minus b as return expression. And now if we log the my array variable, you can see that the array is sorted in ascending order. Also if we want to sort it in descending order, from largest to smallest. We can simply replace a minus b with b minus a, and you can see that the array is now sorted in descending order. Number 4. Get the last items of an array. Let's say we have an array like this. And we want to get the last item in that array which is 7, but is a separate array. We can do this by first creating a new variable and then writing my array. And then we need to call the array slice method and pass minus 1 as the parameter. Slice minus 1 means that only get the last element in the array. And now if we log my array, you can see that we only get 7 as output inside an array. Again, if we want to get the last two items in the array which is 6 and 7, but is a separate array. We can do this by replacing minus 1 with minus 2 inside the slice method and we get the required output. We can also try minus 3 and so on. Number 5. Get an object's keys and values. Let's say we have a simple object like this. Now we want to get all the keys of this object as an array. We can easily do this by first creating a new variable. Let's call it keys and then write object.keys. And then pass our object as a parameter to this keys method. And now if we log keys, we can see all the object keys inside an array. Now let's say we want to get all the values of this object as an array instead, which are 10 and 20 here. We can do this by creating another variable. Let's call it values and then write object.values. And then pass our object as a parameter to this method. And now if we log values, we can see all the object values inside an array. Now let's say we want to get both the keys and values of this object as an array. For this we can use object.entries like this. And now if we log entries, we can see object each key value pair is a separate array. That's it everyone. I hope this video will help you. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Have a great day and I'll see you at the next one.